Hello and welcome to Techie Chat. Well, if you are a Windows 10 user, today is your Independence Day. And to mark that day, uh, October the 14th, when Windows 10 support officially ends from Microsoft, uh, I will be installing Zorin OS 18, the very latest version of Zorin OS, on this ThinkPad that's running Windows 10. Let's jump straight into it. Okay, here we go. Right. Oh, I've only got a certain amount of time to choose a to choose a startup disk, so press F12 on this uh, Lenovo ThinkPad. And we're gonna choose my Corsair slider. Otherwise, Windows will automatically try and install. Try or install Zorin OS. Okay, well, that's a really retro text. <laughs> um, okay, so let's get this thing going. Okay, so this is obviously the initial uh, Zorin boot screen. I should have probably hit Control C to cancel all the uh, file system checks because this is going to take some time, um, probably a, a couple of minutes at least, I'd imagine. It's a seven gig download for Zorin OS Pro. So it's got to check uh, all seven gig to ensure that the data is all present and correct as it should be. Um, it'll probably take a couple of minutes for this to do. So what I'll do is I'll just fast forward this bit um, until we get to the next bit of uh, the process of getting rid of Windows 10 and installing Zorin OS. Okay, now we are getting ready to boot into Zorin OS. This is the first time this system has um, been booted from USB onto uh, Zorin 18. So um, here we are. It's looking good so far. We've got, does the mouse work? Let's see, yes, the mouse works, the wireless mouse works. Um, okay, and here's the initial Welcome uh, screen. Now we can either try Zorin OS or we can install Zorin OS. We are, uh, I would ordinarily uh, say try Zorin OS um, first to ensure that it all works correctly. Um, in this case, we are just gonna go for it and click on install Zorin OS. So we'll click on install Zorin OS here. I should also thank the team at Zorin OS for uh, allowing me to have a release copy of uh, Zorin OS Pro uh, to review uh, on the day of release. So um, thank you Zorin OS, it's much appreciated. So wireless has connected correctly. We'll just move on. I put in my wireless password off the screen. So this is the next step in the Zorin 18 install process. As you can see, there is normal installation, which includes a creative suite, advanced productivity software, utilities and premium desktop layouts. Then there's also minimal install, which just includes the core utilities and premium desktop layouts. Uh, you also get the option to download updates uh, while installing Zorin OS. Uh, install third-party software for graphics and Wi-Fi hardware and additional media formats. And uh, you also um, get the option to opt out of the census. The census uh, lets the Zorin OS developers essentially uh, find out how many people are using uh, Zorin OS. But if you, if you don't want that, then you can tick that box and then uh, you won't be included in the census. Um, if you prefer to be anonymized. Okay, so we'll click on continue. Zorin OS uh, is actually based on uh, an Ubuntu base. Um, so uh, 
This is very similar to the Ubuntu uh, installation process. Again, uses the Calamaris uh, installer, which a lot of these Linux uh, installs use. Okay, so we're now progressing to the installation. Now, this installation uh, will take a little bit longer than, uh, say, for example, Zorin OS Core. So you, you have uh, three different versions of Zorin OS. You have Zorin OS Core, which is a lot smaller, um, essentially containing the base install of Zorin with uh, some uh, application, the basic set of applications. Whereas uh, Zorin OS 18 Pro, now that, that contains obviously all the extra bits and pieces. Um, just to be clear that the things like the creativity suite and all the other bits and pieces that Zorin OS Pro uh, includes with it, it's essentially a, a collection of applications that are already free and open source that Zorin has uh, collated and brought together and put into uh, one package. Uh, the Zorin OS 18 Pro. So essentially you can more or less do the same thing with uh, Zorin OS 18 Core Edition, which is free. Alongside the free applications that you get with Zorin OS 18 Pro uh, included with the main operating system, you also get uh, extra wallpapers, uh, you also get some desktop layouts. Now desktop layouts I'll show you uh, once we've got this all installed and up and running. As you can see the uh, installation itself at the moment is fairly quick. Uh, it will go on to uh, download some updates, uh, quite a bit of updates actually, uh, given the amount of applications that are uh, with this uh, particular version of operating system. So that will take a little time as well. But Zorin OS uh, 18, it does contain extra layouts uh, and the layouts enable you to make the system look like uh, a, a type of Mac OS or a Windows 11 type layout or a, even a Windows 95 type layout. Whatever layout you are comfortable with in terms of the desktop environment, the DE. So these are preset for you so that you can just click one and uh, it'll automatically go to that type of layout, whichever one you prefer. So that's quite handy if you're coming from a Windows uh, background or say, let's say Windows 10, then you can choose a Windows 10 type layout and that immediately makes the system uh, quite easy to understand and easy to navigate if you're coming from that type of background. Uh, in a similar fashion, if you're coming from Mac OS and uh, you've, uh, say for example, upgraded uh, one of the older Intel Mac uh, MacBooks or MacBook Pros, uh, let's say for example, or iMac that have now been made obsolete by Apple, then you might have installed Zorin OS and you might choose the Mac OS type layout, uh, which again will give you a familiar environment to navigate around in terms of your desktop environment. So it does give you some extra options like that. It also comes with a slightly customized uh, version for Mobile Connect uh, called Zorin Connect. And that is essentially a, a, a branch from the KDE Connect application that allows mobile phones to connect to your device. Uh, it doesn't work with iOS because iOS is quite a locked uh, system. It does work perfectly well with Android and gives you some of that functionality that um, that you would you you might use in a Windows uh, environment if you've got if you're for example using the Windows mobile application and doing things like texting from your desktop. Uh, and things like that. So it enables you to do stuff like that. Of course, if you want your Apple phone to work, then uh, if you're using uh, third party applications like, for example, WhatsApp, then you can uh, also download uh, a Linux WhatsApp client or use WhatsApp web and you can message from there. Uh, if you're using uh, that's an alternative uh, if you're using an iOS uh, device. 
So we're just waiting for this to install now. It's uh, preparing all the uh, all the packages to uh, roll out to the hard drive on this uh, Lenovo laptop. I should say this a Lenovo X1 Carbon laptop. It's a uh, it's an old ThinkPad of mine. Uh, it's running an i7-5600U, so it's only uh, dual core, uh, four threads. Uh, it's got eight gig of RAM, um, but it's uh, a good test laptop. It's it's pretty old now. Obviously, it doesn't run Windows 11, so in this case, this would be a scenario where if you're stuck with Windows 10 and you need to upgrade to an operating system that's going to be updated, so Microsoft do have a solution uh, for all those devices that were going to uh, simply expire in terms of support uh, from Microsoft. Uh, they uh, enable you to tick an option to essentially allow all your data or most of your data to be sent to them uh, for them to provide marketing to you based on your preferences that they've learned from your your data uh, and uh, for that, they'll give you an extra year of support on Windows 10. So if you're into that, uh, I can't imagine why you would be, but you might be into that. If you simply can't move from Windows 10, there is an alternative from Microsoft to continue to get security updates on your operating system. Um, to be sure, I'm I'm not uh, not sure about entirely about the legality of that, but uh, let's not get into that. That seems like something that might come to bite Microsoft later on, uh, given that uh, if they're still providing security updates for Windows 10, why aren't they uh, providing them to all Windows 10 users uh, rather than making users sign up or opt in to essentially receive marketing from Microsoft? Uh, it doesn't seem quite right. But anyhow, installation is complete now on Zorin and uh, we need to restart in order to use the new installation. So now let's click on restart now. As you can tell, I'm running this on obviously on, on real hardware. I'm not doing this uh, on a virtual machine and uh, I'm a glutton for pun punishment. <laughs> this is definitely the long way round in terms of uh, installing uh, new operating systems, but I like to do it on real hardware because Essentially, that's what you might be doing at home. Uh, you may well be in this situation where you have an older laptop. It's not Windows 11 compatible and uh, you you want a system, an operating system that's going to be secure. You want an operating system that's going to continue to get security updates. Zorin may well just be that system. <laughs> 